All right, we've pulled out the tier list and we're here to answer the question, where does this deck belong in the format? All right, to the 34% of you that have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button, smash it so we can climb up the 104,000 ladder here. Now, if there's a deck not represented on this, I'm using someone else's tier maker for this. I believe ninjas are missing off of this. I'd put them in rogue. It, it, like I said, if, if something's not on here, just relax. I also think Flanderies might be missing, but we already know where that would go. It'd be like 1.5. So before you're all like, oh, Robbie forgot something, how dare he? Patience, all right? So, I guess we're going to start things off with Abyss Actors here. Um, I kind of want to put this in, in, honestly, Rogue. I think that this deck, a lot of players are going to have um, a huge, like, offset chance here to see if this deck actually can do something. Um, it's not Tier 2, but it's definitely, like, oh, there's Impen. It's definitely not, like, awful. So, I would put this down here. We'll have to wait and see really where this shapes up for the most part though but it's not awful completely falling of Albez, um is it 1.5 or tier 2 i think i'd put this in tier 2 i think the despia still can very much take away a lot of things that a lot of players can really do but the deck just kind of moves down the ladder as each and every iteration of it kind of goes away to be honest with you. Kashtira, um, I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> this is like the, the new toy in the room. Like everybody knows that this is a tier one deck, like for sure. It is like very, very, very little underneath cat or uh, tier elements, but like people are expecting this to do its thing. All right. Like it will be a very good deck. All right, Black Wings, I actually want to put this in, in what do. Now, I don't mean this in like a weird way, because this is a little bit of a rogue competitor, and it can do some things in certain matchups. It, it can, it's definitely won some locals, for sure. But it's just been getting, as each and every iteration of the sets go, it just feels a little bit less comparable, I feel like. It just feels like... The new cards came out, and then we just kind of get pushed down uh, more and more. Sprite, I'm going to put a 1.5. This deck is for sure a very, very good deck as well. Um, no real change, honestly, to this. Like, everything still pretty much maintains and does its job here. So, good stuff. Um, we're going to leave this in tier two. If you want my honest opinion about this deck, I think that the Naturia Ishizu stuff is still very, very good. It, it's still going to remain a, like, rogue competitor for sure well it's better than rogue uh this is like super rogue i feel like so i'm glad to see that this is this is doing something for sure cyber dragon is definitely going in the what do column i'm sorry but like what are you supposed to do with this deck like i'm gonna be completely honest with you like i i fail to really see what the best fields what whatever that you are trying to do with this deck it just feels like it's getting tossed to the wayside um and pen control there you go <laughs> so I, I i've been saying this a lot about flounder flounder only does good at the ycs level all right at a regional level this deck is horrible all right like it is it only gets like a tier 1.5 placement because it does good at ycs you look at regional that is deck is awful it literally it mind boggles me that it just falls so hard to the wayside and that i don't know it, it's it's always going to be a very interesting thing to kind of see here i also want to toss the we're also going to toss the we're going to put this next to sprite as well i am curious to see if the gishki sprite version of this deck will take off um it might honestly just end up in the tier two category for sure but for intents and purposes of starting things off here we're going to leave this in 1.5 just because it is a sprite variation and just because players don't really know how to handle it at the moment. Um, Galaxy Eyes. Yeah, this is going in, in what do. Yeah, they got a they got a fresh paint and a new coat. Or a, a fresh new, you know, thing. I am curious to know what people expect that to really do. But it's really just about it at the end of the day. Like, I, I'm very curious to see. 
Oh, man. We got some tough ones here. Drytron. So, with all the with bike steels kind of shifting out, I think we can put this back in Rogue. Because Kashtira now exists as a deck, that gives this the chance to kind of show up and do something. So I'm going to leave this in the Rogue category to kind of see. I'm also going to leave Dark World down here in Rogue. I mean, if you think the Dark World isn't a... This deck can win a 4-0 local as long as it doesn't run into this. So yeah, we're going to leave this down here. Man, there's a lot of hard choices here. Purely, in its current iteration, I'm also going to leave down here in What Do. It's it's just very unfortunate. Like, once they get the secondary cat, this deck will get the chance to do something. And also, what are you doing, Rescue Ace? Like, what was the purpose of this deck? Like, this boss monster is so cool in what it does. This is just a generic, oops, everything else kind of failed. Um... Same thing with what 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 is Anna Emancipator supposed to do right now? Like this deck? Okay, sure. <laughs> I, I guess. Uh, I'm really debating on where I want to put some of this stuff. We're gonna just go ahead and put this up here. I mean, like, you already know. Like this is this is doing its job. Sword Soul goes in the tier two category. I don't feel like anything has really changed with that all that much. That still remains the same. Um, Valence, does this deserve to go in here? No, we're going to leave this in the Rogue category. I still think the Valence FTK is super cute and gimmicky, and it, it will catch people off guard. That's that's what you really want to see, for sure, is just the overall potential for what this deck can do out of left field is, is pretty cool. Um, let's see here. We're also going to put this up here in Tier 2. I think the Minkanko Ritual Good Stuff dot deck actually is pretty cool. I think that this deck will catch a lot of people off guard. And that's what you really want to see with a deck like this, is just your overall potential to kind of bring to the metagame for what you can do. I'm going to temporarily put Labyrinth at like 1.75. So here's the thing, I don't think that this deck is truly 1.5, and I truly don't think it's in Tier 2 just yet. I feel like we're kind of in, like, a limbo little place with this. So we're going to leave this at, like, the very end of this, because this is kind of like the benchmark for what I would dump into here. Um, I also... Th this is going in Tier 2. I think that Runic is still going to be good. The problem is, is how, how can you out a cash tier aboard at a minimalistic sacrifice to you. And we'll, we'll put this next to Runic because these two do kind of work together at the end of the day. All right, this is getting hard because a lot of these I don't know are... Um, Virtual World did in fact just recently top a regional, so I'll put them in Rogue, that's fine. Um, Scareclaw, so Scareclaw hasn't had any recent success with this deck. I will put it down here in Rogue. I think that this deck is still very, very cool for what it does at the end of the day. Like, it still gets things off the ground and still ends a lot of games. Uh, we're also going to put Plunder Patrol down here in Rogue, too. That new engine that they just got is pretty solid, actually. The, the new ship, one ship definitely makes them a lot better. I assume that this is supposed to represent Draco Slayer, and... Draco Slayer has not had any success, but it temporarily feels like it hasn't really fallen off. Um, we're gonna put it in Rogue. That, that's a tough decision, honestly. Like that deck has has really fallen to the wayside a lot. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, Gizmek dot deck Grand Manju five thousand. Um, I guess we're gonna leave this in what do. Like I feel like this can do something, but like yeah, it needs something. Uh, Tri Brigade Sprite. I guess we'll put this in, like, Tier 2, uh, because the Tri Brigade variant of this can actually still do something. Crystal Beast is definitely still going in the Rogue Department. Um, this deck can still do some stuff. Uh, Dogmatica Control. Um, I really want to put this in What Do. Um, yeah, we'll put that in What Do. Earthbox. I also am going to put this... Uh, we'll put this up here. I think that's fine. We'll put Generator down here and what do. I am curious. This is like a wild card. I want to know what people are going to do with this. Buy Steel Dragon Link. Uh, we'll put this in, in Tier 2. That's fine. Sky Striker. Um, man. 
They've done a little bit, but it wasn't much. We'll put this here. And then I've seen the punk package start to gain a little bit of love, so we'll put that there. Do keep in mind that there was no Eldritch on this. There's no Ninja. I do think that, full disclaimer here, that I think Eldritch would probably go in Rogue. And then I think we'd put Ninja in the Rogue category, maybe just to kind of mess people up and see what they can really do with that. So that is my tier list for the moment. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.